get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button. This way, when content comes out, it'll just hit your inbox. Anyway, I'm Luke Stanky, and in this Build This Viz video, we're going to create a heat map. It should go pretty quick. Anyway, uh, let's get started. I'm actually connected to Tableau's COVID-19 activity extract. I'm using Tableau 2020.4, and we're going to recreate this visualization. And like I said, it should go pretty quick here, but I'm just gonna start by creating a new sheet. And then I'm gonna go find state. So there's state, and I'm gonna drop province name out on my view. There's all the states. It's got just a little too many, so we're gonna go find country name. We'll choose United States, and there we go. Now let's find report date in our data. We'll take report date, we'll click and drag that out on our view, and we'll change this to week number. And we'll also change this to discrete. And this is really important. You need to have two discrete fields when you're working with these. Let's maybe just rotate this label. There we go. And then I'm going to right click and format. And it looks like there's some custom alignment. So we'll just put that downward at this point. And maybe we'll just fit the width while we're at it. So we'll see lots of little cells here. The next part is we just need to add a value in here. And I sort of want to show case change by week. And there's a field in here that's just new cases, new positive cases. I'm just going to click and drag that and add that to color. There we go. People positive new cases count is what I'm looking for. And you'll see it sort of looks like a heat map, but it's all, you know, it's based on all states. And I want to look within an individual state. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to double click on this sum of people positive new cases count. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to divide by the window max and paste in that same value and hit enter. When I do this, I now have a new heat map and it's basically a heat map that goes from zero, well, technically goes below zero in some cases here, to one, one being the maximum number of cases in a week. So how do I now change the color? Just double click and change our palette. And what we're going to select is this temperature diverging. I found this to be the most effective. And while we're at it, let's change this to advanced and set our values between zero and one. And now we can hit OK. And there we go. Now we have our heat map. The last thing I personally do is just do a little bit of formatting. So I'm just going to right click format and I'm going to change my row dividers to be white and maybe I'll just make the dividers just like a little bit larger than normal a little bit larger here on the column dividers as well go column dividers add in some column dividers now I have individual cells and I, I personally like to highlight the cells and usually I try to make them as close to square as possible and in this case we could just like make each state a little bit bigger but for me, making them look like squares makes it a lot easier for your audience to look at them. I know that some people like to uh, just not really think about the size and they just leave them however. But for me, I just don't like this. I, I need to have it be a nice square. It's uh, that type A personality, whatever it is, it's how I want to view my visualizations. Anyway, this is a heat map. However, Tableau calls them a highlight table. In the next video, we'll look at what Tableau calls an actual heat map using this exact same data source. Anyway, that's this video. Be sure to like it if you have learned one or two tips along the way. Uh, I really think it's in the formatting for this one. Anyway, we'll catch you in the next one.